the status quo of dog being man's best friend is under protest by this cat. Sputnik, a three-year-old female cat, is curious, likes being pet, and loves attention. When she was three days old, she came to live with my family with a foster family. Her birth mother had abandoned her and she had been brought here to the shelter. Um, another mother cat who had babies of her own took in Sputnik and a couple of other kittens. And then that whole group of family, a mom and six kittens, came to stay with us as fosters. Stowers has fostered hundreds of kittens from the Naperville Area Humane Society, and she says she typically gives them themed names. For Sputnik and her family, she chose space as her inspiration. This is Cassini, Artemis, Hubble, Sputnik, Apollo, and Gemini, um, all of her siblings. And then on the next page, this is um, her mom, Luna. Sputnik's name is fitting as she's quite the explorer, making a bed out of our camera equipment, finding a corner to lie down on, and checking out what's inside this bin. When it was time to find Sputnik's forever home, she didn't want to leave Stower's side. I was taking pictures of her to bring her back to the shelter to put her up for adoption, and she reached out to me like that, and we felt that was her saying, could you please adopt me so I could stay here. Fast forward a couple of months, Sowers remembered the Naperville Area Humane Society was in search of a cat to help out with their positive pet therapy program. As mentioned before, Sputnik loves attention, which is a key characteristic for good therapy animals, according to Lauren Losky, a pet therapy coordinator at the Naperville Area Humane Society. Um, sometimes owners just see how much their animals enjoy the interaction with people, like uh, Sonia and Sputnik. She noticed how much Sputnik craved that attention. So it's really um, up to the owner to understand their animal and then work on some of those basic skills to prepare them for the visits. There are 102 active therapy teams at the Humane Society. Only six are cat therapy teams, with the rest being dogs. Therapy cats have to be comfortable with being on a harness. In general, Lonsky said therapy animals have to be comfortable in quiet or loud environments and have to have a special bond with their owner since they'll be working as a team on therapy visits. After four months of training, Sputnik and Stowers were ready to make therapy visits to hospice centers, schools, and other places. They typically roll up to visits in a customized stroller, which is designed to make it easier to pet Sputnik while she's chilling and help Stowers maneuver her cat. The therapy duo was out of commission for a while due to the pandemic. Before the stay-at-home order, Sputnik was making 5 to 15 visits a month. So to then suddenly just be at home and not go anywhere when she was so used to going out, it was really hard for her. She didn't know how to handle that. Obviously, she didn't understand what was going on, and we couldn't explain it to her because how do you explain that to a cat? But Sputnik stayed busy posting to her social media pages and trying her best to uplift her fan spirits. And after 380 days of not working, Sputnik and Sonia made their triumphant return a couple of weeks ago. She let me put on her harness and her bandana because those mean, means she's working. And she just happily sat in the car all the way there. She did a great job on the visit. And then afterwards, she behaved like I'd never seen her behave before. She was so happy she was bouncing around the house. The therapy visits, which typically last an hour, are great for Sputnik, but also for Stowers, who enjoys being there for people just as much. Helping people brings me joy, and I feel like it brings her joy as well. The way she trots around the house after a visit and things like that, I think it makes her really happy to go and do this for people. So it, it brings as much to us as it gives to the other people. The therapy team is part of ICAT, which works towards dispelling stereotypes about cats and providing them with the same opportunities as therapy dogs. And there's a lot of people out there who really just need to see a cat. There's cat people who aren't dog people and they would rather see a cat. And those people light up when we come in the room. Proving anything a dog can do, a cat can do better. For Naperville News 17, I'm Christian Canizal.